Hey everyone, Joel Hans here, and welcome to a very special episode of the Joel Hans Show. You know, where we eat way too much food at excellent restaurants, excellent places, excellent food. So here we are at Nozomi, guys. Nozomi in Toronto, Ontario. Technically North York, but Toronto. Here doing some Asian-inspired comfort food. So, here in front of me, I have some delicious looking habanero crunch chicken. Some chicken sandwiches, guys. Yes, yes, yes. Crispy, crunchy chicken. I love it. Then have an OG burger, guys. It's a smash burger. I then have a Galbi burger, which is like a Korean style burger. I have a Tokyo Japanese style burger. I have some taro chips, um, big portion of taro chips. I have some lovely chicken tenders, some chicken crunch things. I have some calamari. I have some uh, spring rolls, which are pretty unique. I have some house made cookie dust, house made. And by the way, house made Japanese milk bread buns. Sounds delicious. I have a lovely salmon poke bowl, and I have a lovely kale salad. Gotta get some health in there. So it's a lot of food. Looks absolutely delicious though. So let's dive on in, have some fun. I got some house-made sauces to go along with it. I'm excited, I'm starving, so let's get started. All right, you know me, I'm just gonna use my hands. That's the most suitable way, so first let's start with some calamari. So, a pretty... Mm. A little salty. Lovely season. The game may always go with them too, but. Whatever is in that bread. Mm. Mm. Very, very good. I get a lot. What do you recommend? Calamari. I like it. I'm gonna have some of this kale salad. This looks absolutely delectable. Just look how beautiful that salad is. Some avocado on there. See some nuts. Mm. The other thing which is really cool is they're making all their sauces here. So got some turmeric almonds in there, guys. House made dressing, cabbages, tomatoes, everything. That dressing on there is fantastic. It's your house made ranch. Based on this flavor, I could drink it by the bottle. Love the salad. Very delicious. Normally I wouldn't get a salad and something like this, but it looks so good. I just had to try a chicken finger. These look so delicious, guys. So crispy. Mm. Man, I love their breading. I love their batters. Got some of that ranch right here, dipped in that ranch. Look at that. Drippy action. Mm. Oh boy. Mm. Mm. I think it's the uh, habanero mayo. Mmm. Ooh. Ooh. Mmm. Man, those flavors. Oh my gosh. This is another uh, mayonnaise they gave me with the. Mm. Ooh. So, two of these actually gave me with the calamari. One was a citrus. Very lemony, very zesty. And this other one has a really nice kind of Asian flavor of like of soy and ginger. A little kick to it. Fantastic. And this is I have an arrow one. Amazing flavor. I 
not sure what this one is, but we'll find out. Ooh, that's good. Spicy. Then there's like cayenne just to it. Some chili. And then here I got a little sweet and sour. I know. There's three chili sauce. Man, that house made ranch is fantastic though. A little bit of dill. It's beautiful. Let's hit some of these burgers. Mm -hmm. Start with the OG. So the OG being a traditional smash burger. Mm. Love the bun. An excellent potato bun. There's just a beautiful, tasty bird. And for a smash burger, it's incredibly moist. Incredibly soft. The dressing on it is fantastic. I'm getting a little resemblance to almost like a Big Mac. It's being like a 1,000 Islands kind of, I think it's a 1,000 Islands dressing, I know they make it here. Pickles, lettuce. Definitely a buy. Very, very good. The OG is well deserving of a stamp. I'm gonna go, hmm, I got two of these beautiful chicken burgers, so I'm gonna go with this one. This is the dark meat one. Two of the habanero chickens here, guys. Beautiful sandwich. Just one more look at that. Look how gorgeous that is. This is the dark meat. Got the white meat right here. Then I got the two burgers, the Korean and the Japanese burger there. I cannot wait for this, guys. I love fried chicken, love fried chicken sandwiches. So let's go for this bite. I think it's well deserved right now. Mmm. 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 Oh my god. Woo! That is sweet, that is spicy, that is so dang juicy. Nice layer of crunch to it. Those sauces are fantastic. And they like rolled it in the sauce. That is a delicious sandwich. Ten out of ten. Would recommend. I might need another one of those. Mm. So good. Mm. Luckily, I do have one more already. Damn that chicken sandwich. I love chicken sandwiches. I kinked my neck this morning at the gym. Ugh. Ugh. Delicious. All right. Let's go with the Korean burger on the Japanese milk bread. So they got some bacon, got some onions, got some cheese. We got some of their special sauces, y'all. Looks good. I love Japanese milk bread. Let's give this a try. Mm. Mm. So the patties are marinated. Comprehend that for a second. They marinate their burger patties. Mm. Get a really strong reminiscence of like Korean barbecue. Mm. Super soft, super juicy. The milk bread, which they actually make here, is fantastic. It was really unique because it's 
So when he was putting it on the grill, getting these strong sear marks from the sugar, from the like the, the marinade that like from the marinade, the, the sugar in the marinade. And it adds such a beautiful grilled flavor. What a boy. The pickles and sauces. That's another must try. All right. Tokyo burger, onions, lettuce. Not only a marinated patty with like a cream cheese on it, cream cheese kind of style of spread, but they dipped it in like another like teriyaki kind of thing. So this is gonna be sweet, it's gonna be savory. Let's give it a go. Mind blown. Mind blown. Holy shuck. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. Wow. Holy crap. Things are literally actually getting better and better. All right. So the patty. Super soft, super juicy, you're getting that lovely grill flavor. That cream cheese spread. Holy crap. The spread on it, guys. That's how I resemble it. Like a cream cheese with the sweetness of that, like, teriyaki sauce, the marinade. The lettuce, the tomato. This is by far one of the most unique burgers I've ever had. And when I say unique, I mean a, co a kind of interesting combination which works fantastically. I've never had a burger like that. I'm still in shock and awe. Mind blown. I have no clue what to expect. But all possible expectations expectations were just blown out of the water. Amazing. Amazing, amazing. Mm, I'm gonna save that. We'll dive into this poke bowl. So we got a traditional salmon poke bowl, guys. Avocado, rice, edamame. Avocado. Mm. Little fried taro thingy things on top. Mm. Sweet, savory. That's a nice soy and ginger on the rice down there. It's actually very, very good. It's a good poke bowl. Seaweed salad in there too. So now we're down to chicken sandwich, the spring rolls, which I believe they're actually pronounced or the name is like lum lumpia? Lumpia? And they come with a sweet chili sauce. Not bad. Spring rolls. These are really nice. I know they're made with carrot. I do have a really nice flavor to them. So even though it's not an item I would normally get, I can show a lot of appreciation for the quality and flavor of the spring roll. I'm trying for these taro chips. So if you're not familiar with taro, is taro is like a root vegetable. I like a potato. Very popular in certain cultures, 
some of those being Asian. And these are big tar chips. Got some seasoning on them as well. The flavor that she's gonna have on it. I almost get a little bit of like a barbecue. A little bit of barbecue chip. Yeah, not only salty. Very unique. I can dig. Tar chips. You have a nice flavor to them. And a very, very good crunch. I'm sure you can hear. Oh, what? Back some of these egg rolls. Spring rolls. Spring rolls. That was me correcting myself saying spring rolls. Yes, my mouth full. Just in case you couldn't understand me. It is fantastic. Well, good to hear. Good to hear. Absolutely fantastic. I mean, your personal favorite so far? That chicken sandwich and that Tokyo burger knocked me off my socks. Nice, nice, nice. Can I actually get one more of each? One more of the yeah. Tokyo and the uh, white or dark meat? That looks like the white meat. I, I haven't tried the white meat one yet. I guess the dark meat. Dark meat? That's good. Sure, no problem. Delicious. Delicious. It is that good. Seconds. Well worth it. Well, well, well worth it. Love it, everybody. Love it. And I still have a chicken sandwich. And now we have two more coming. Or another chicken sandwich and a burger coming. So it may look like I made a big mess without crumbs all over. But, in all reality, this time it was only partially me. I actually had the door blow open and the wind gusted everything. And I had taro chips flying everywhere. It was pretty crazy. I'll include it at the end of the video. So if you want to watch a, a true blooper, you'll be able to see that at the end. It was, it was pretty funny, to be honest with you. And then we got cookies. I'm so excited for those. Oreo cookies and a Maltesers cookie. And again, how was mayo? All right. Mm. Those taro chips are really good. Really crunchy, though. All right, back to this beautiful chicken sandwich. Love it. Have an hour, guys. Have an hour crunch. So this is the white meat version. We had the dark meat. So let's try this white meat. Yes. Just look at that. Look at that imagery. Some people ask, why do I show you the food to the camera? Do you know why? Because I would want to see this. I think it looks so beautiful that I want to share it with you. Like, even me looking at this, I'm like, that's worth a picture. The sauce is great. Love the pickles on there. Still very, very juicy, even with the white variant. Has a nice little bit of heat. Give me a heat around your mouth, your tongue, the roof of your mouth. After I've had a, like a, quite a bit of it, I'm getting it just the tiniest bit to the throat, but it's mostly just all in the mouth, giving a really just nice, flavorful and pleasant sensation. Goes solo with that chicken. There's some cayenne or some paprika in there. Dip it in that sauce. It's a dip action. Dip it. Dip. Dip it. Very good. 
There's a certain flavor I'm trying to place though. Almost like an Alabama white sauce. You know what that's, I'm getting, I'm, we're starting to piece together guys. 10% Asian Japanese fusion. 60 to 70% Alabama white sauce. Maybe even like 80% Alabama white, and then 10 of like, uh, this is just really, excuse me, this is just really cool and unique. That's where I'm getting it, guys. Reminiscence, reminiscence of an Alabama white with a spice, with a heat, and it tastes damn good on that freaking fried chicken. Woo wee! Now we have our two burgers coming, and then we have cookies. To say I am tempted to start these cookies is very true. Maybe I'll have to have one. Oh my god, they smell so good. Look at that, that is just like a dense, lovely, moist looking cookie. Uh, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. Let's get our other burger, let's get our other chicken sandwich, and then we're gonna dive into these cookies, and I am so excited for those right there. So I'm gonna munch for these taro chips while I'm waiting for my other sandwiches. So we'll be back momentarily. All right, so I got my other Tokyo burger, got my other fried chicken sandwich, guys. That's right, the hot habanero chicken crunch, to be specific. And like, so Asian-inspired comfort food, that is what they are calling the restaurant, and I think it is very accurate. Like I said, I was getting those southern vibes and that sauce, but Asian-inspired comfort food. I think that is the awesome and the best kind of way to describe it. So they yeah, already know how to describe it, but I very much agree. The more I sit and I think about all these items and the food and the flavors, I also got one more cookie. It was the last one, I got one more. I still haven't eaten any, I still haven't tried the cookies yet at all. I promised I would uh, allow you to enjoy that flavor with me. So, here we go guys. I'm gonna start probably with this Tokyo again. Yeah, so cream cheese, inspired sauce, dipped burger, Marinated patty, Japanese milk bread bun. So unique. That cheesiness, that richness. I like it a lot. The savoriness with it, yeah. It's like sweet, savory, crunchy, crispy. I have a big mouth, that was a really big bite. Yeah, that, that's just fantastic. Love the Tokyo bird. And you know what else I love? The hot habanero chicken crunch. Or the chicken crunch. You can call it back to this flame and hot. Temperature wise, not spicy. Chicken crunch. Just look at it again. It's just, that is beautiful. That is freaking beautiful, everybody. This is work. If you like chicken sandwiches, sorry, I keep looking out at it in the camera because I love it. This is a so aesthetic. Ooh, hot. Mm. With the crunch, the breading, hot dang golly. I like this one a lot. I would go as far as say, if you just want a chicken sandwich, like a chicken sandwich, crispy chicken sandwich, it's a freaking amazing place. And again, Asian inspired comfort food, I will say, I didn't expect to get such bomb chicken. Hell right. Joel approves. The hell right, Joel approves as well. It is awfully hot. 
Don't eat your food too hot, kids. Let it cool off. I'm a trained professional. No, I'm just kidding. Don't do what I do. Don't ever do what I do, everybody. I admit, I'd recommend getting one of these chicken sandwiches, but one of them. That bite is so damn good. What do you have? We all know what time it is. Cookie time. Dessert time. We all know I love desserts. The weight of these things, though, is impressive. So from my understanding, this is the special one of the month, which looks like Oreo and maybe there's white chocolate in it. And this one has something to do with like Maltesers. Cookie, y'all. Let's give it a go. I'm excited. My neck. Oh my god. Okay. Holy crap. I was not expecting that. Look at this. They got a whole freaking Oreo in it. Not only do we got like chocolate chips and chocolate chunks and Oreos surrounding it, we got a whole Oreo in it. I knew these were Oreo, but that's not what I was expecting. Mm. It's worth a picture. I'll take a picture. Very good. This would actually be a cookie to go really well with like milk. Like milk cookie. Please have a lovely cookie with Mount's favorite cookie. Hot damn. So each one of these is actually two cookies. A cookie and an oil. I like it. I tell you how buttery these cookies are. They ain't calorie free. But damn they good. Last but not least, the last cookie. I believe this is Maltesers. Mm. Maltesers. Oh, look. I already heard that, but it's still crunchy. I don't mean to sound odd, it would be Captain Obvious, which isn't Maltesers. Well, that's about it, everybody. That's about it. So overall, I love it. Asian inspired comfort food, Nizomi. Would recommend. Apparently Nizomi also means hope. We all need hope. And it's very delicious. So everybody, thank you much for watching. Some Asian inspired comfort food, 10 to 10 would recommend. Really lovely actually, like far exceeded my expectations. The freaking chicken crunch, guys, the chicken sandwich, 10 out of 10. It's worth the trip alone just for that. That Tokyo burger, also worth the trip alone just for that. I think those are my favorite items today. Um, extra special, honorable mention. Ooh, honorable mention to the uh, calamari was good. Awesome chicken sandwiches, awesome burgers. Oh, the OG was really good too, actually. Everything was good, what can I say? So everybody, till next time, hope you enjoyed today's video. Huge thanks to Nizomi for having me out, and uh, that's about it. I appreciate you watching. If you liked the video, hit that like button, comment down below. What is your favorite item of the day? Which item you think you would enjoy the most? And then everybody, until next time, say happy, healthy, hungry, happy eating. Of course, get yourself some good food, but don't eat too much, don't eat as much as I do, but definitely eat a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So, just that's it. I love you. Have a lovely day. Happy eating, okay?
Dang now the cat, you're gonna be down the menu next week if you don't shut up. So there everybody, thanks so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed. Click my face right here to subscribe. And also I picked two videos. That's right, two videos just for you that you might like. Right here. So like I said, guys, hit that subscribe, hit one of these videos, do it right now. Until next time, have a lovely day.